Hey guys, okay, we've got quite a bit to talk about today. Welcome to Steph AB TV. The Julia GTA that's just been announced at Geneva, although I'm so late to the party, and the reason I'm late to the party is because you join me here in Monaco. Over my shoulder, you can see the Monaco Formula One racetrack. As you can see, we've got such a cool view, guys, of the swimming pool area, the harbor. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about the Alfa Romeo Julia GTA. Guys, before we kick off the Julia GTA video, which you are definitely gonna to wanna to watch, I have to say a massive thank you to BOTB who are sponsoring mine and Joe's video. This is the first of four videos in this mega road trip. You have a chance to win yourself a car from BOTB. Tickets start from just 85p. You can get yourself this RS7 for £4.65 and you can get a Julia Quadrifoglio, a 4C. There's over 150 cars to choose from. You also have a chance to win £20,000 in the boot of the car. All you have to do to enter is be 16 or over. The competition is worldwide and they announce we winners right now the Julia GTA enjoy the video guys it's finally here Alfa Romeo have announced to the world their latest weapon this is the Alfa Romeo Julia GTA Alfa bringing back a legend and the Julia GTA holds so much history for the brand and now that they're about to celebrate 110 years of existence they have stunned us with this incredible bit of kit if the Julia Quadrifoglio wasn't enough for you, how about this thing? It looks absolutely insane. There is so much carbon fiber on this car. The new Julia GTA is based on the Quadrifoglio and is fitted with, more, with a more powerful version of the 2.9 liter V6 by turbo engine that we're all so used to seeing. It now runs 540 horsepower. Alpha also have saved 100 kilograms of weight, making this a power to weight ratio of 2.8 horsepower to, to, to a kilogram. Now a GTA M variant will also be available and that version of the GTA will have two racing seats, a roll bar, six point harness, they're only gonna make 500 units of the Julia GTA, GTA and GTA M, which means that these will be really good and should hold on residuals. On the Alfa Romeo Julia GTA, the Alfa engineers have worked to improve the aero, the handling, but their main task was to re reduce the weight. This means active aero was put in, especially studied and used in F1. So you are literally taking F1 stuff from Alfa Romeo and chucking it into a road car, which is pretty insane. You also get an Akrapovich center exit titanium exhaust, which is integrated with a very nice carbon fiber rear diffuser. We also get new 20 inch wheels, which have got center locking, which is very, very cool. The handling has been improved by widening the front and rear track by 50 millimeter and developing a new set of springs and shocks alongside with bushes, which basically enhance the entire suspension on, well, from the original Julia. On the GTA M, the front aerodynamic has been optimized by adding a larger front splitter and real carbon fiber rear wing, all done to add more balance balance at high speed. The 2.9 litre V6 by turbo engine made entirely out of aluminium and capable of unleashing no less than 510 horsepower which we've seen in the standard model has now been raised to 540. Uh, the Julia GTA, thanks to the meticulous development of the guys at Alfa Romeo and the engineers and all the work they've put in, um, have basically said it's amazing but really we all know that the standard Julia can do 600 horsepower with just a simple remap. Now looking at the inside we get an Alcantara trim dashboard, door, panels, gloves, uh, glove compartments, side pillars. Alcantara is used pretty much everywhere and even more so on the GTA M version where the rear bench has been completely removed and it pretty much created a GT touring car. The GTA M comes in at a weight of 1,525 and is poised to take the Nürburgring uh, record back off the Project 8, which really is probably the reason we we saw this car being made. But we're just gonna have to wait for that moment to happen. Now, Alfa Romeo are only gonna make 500 models with Enring and Julia Quadrifoglio Racing Line customers being the first to be targeted. Now, I really hope I get the chance to drive this car. I look forward to sharing that moment with you. I've, I'm, I'm literally gonna be on the phone to Alfa Romeo and say, how do we make this happen? And I hope you've enjoyed this quick little news update in a very different location as opposed to the office. Uh, but yeah, the GTA is a car that I'm very, very much looking forward to. As mentioned, a massive thanks to BOTB because without them, we wouldn't be here right now. And also a quick one, a quick little shout out. I'm gonna talk about it more in the video. If I lean down here, we've got a new logo. We've got a Steph AB t-shirt. There's gonna be some merch coming guys and I will explain all uh, across some of the vlogs that you're gonna be seeing on the channel. So stay tuned for that. But my kind of final thoughts on the Alfa Romeo GTA, I really want one, but for the price of 150,000, it's a lot of money. Uh, I do think they'll hold well, but I think 150K is a hell of a lot of money for uh, a Julia. Although, what Alfa have done with this, they have pretty much put every single eyeball on this car. I've been seeing it shared absolutely everywhere. 
uh, which is why I'm so late to the party because the entire internet's already shown everyone this car, but that's okay. I hope you enjoyed this quick little news segment. Guys, if you did, make sure to leave a like. And my name's been Seth, you guys have been awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for plenty more content, news like this, and I'll see you all very soon on the next one. Thanks for watching, bye bye.